Hey everyone, it's Marcello here from the Toyota World YouTube channel and behind me, I finally have a 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. This is the XSE technology package. We're gonna review it and see if we spot any changes, although we know there hasn't been any changes posted for this particular model just ahead in this video. Okay, everyone, so here we have it, the beautiful, nearly fully loaded 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XSE technology package. So as you may already know, no posted changes for 2024 with this particular model. You can check out my other videos. I'll put a link in this video. We do have some changes to the Woodland Edition, but really no other models for at least us here in Canada. But sometimes there are slight changes that the manufacturer doesn't really make specific notes about in terms of, you know, small little features or little elements about the vehicle. Um, just doing a quick walk around. I don't really notice anything, at least on the exterior, that's really changed at all from 23 to 24. Can you catch anything? If you do, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, it looks quite identical to 2023. Um, this is one model below the limited grade, which is considered to be the fully loaded version of the RAV4 Hybrid. We are hoping for 2025 to see a complete remodel and redesign of this SUV, both inside and out. Well, on the interior point of view, I can't seem to pinpoint any slight changes or differences to the overall interior here. Everything is pretty much carry over as Toyota has stated for 2024 comparing to 2023. Now, on the interior point of view, when you go with the XSE grades for 2023 and even 2024, you are upgraded to a 12.3 inch digital multi information display system, which houses a lot of your cool features and uh, indicators. It has, you know, your battery hybrid system, charging uh, meter or gauge. You've got your digital uh, speedometer over there. And then over to the right, you have a 10.5 inch with the XSE technology package uh, touch screen with the latest multimedia tech featuring wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cloud-based navigation, and more. Going a little bit further down, you're also upgraded to the wireless phone charger with the 2024 RAV4 Hybrid XSE technology package. And you're also upgraded to the uh, power adjustable memory seats. So when you go with the XSE non-technology package, you still have the power seats, but they're not memory. You'll have to go with the XSE technology package. Fun fact, the XLE RAV4 non-hybrid premium model actually comes standard with the memory seats. You'll also have a leather wrapped heated steering wheel here in Canada with this model. And this lovely RAV4 hybrid also features the digital display rear view mirror, which gives you a very clear and unobstructed view 100% uh, of the time whenever you want it uh, on demand of what's happening behind your vehicle, just with the simple toggle of this little lever here. Pretty cool. You're also upgraded to this 18 inch black alloy wheel standard with the 2020 for RAV4 Hybrid XSE and XSE Technology Package. Now this is the same alloy wheel that comes on the SE, the Limited, and the XLE Premium for 2024 RAV4 Hybrid. However, when you're going with the XSE or the SE, it is in a gloss black uh, versus the gunmetal on the XLE Premium and the Limited. 
Now, another cool thing that some customers and viewers don't realize is when you go with the XSE and XSE technology package, you actually have this blue stitching throughout the entire interior, which follows along through with the blue piping in the Softex seating itself here for the RAV4 Hybrid XSE technology package 2024. Now, there's a few more things on the exterior of this RAV4 Hybrid that distinguish it from being an XSE technology package uh, compared to the XSE non-technology package. And that's things like these intelligent clearance sensors that come standard on the vehicle here. You can see the sensors front and back of this hybrid SUV. So it does have the intelligent, intelligent clearance sensors around the vehicle. It also does come standard with the rear cross traffic alert system, which is very smart. When you put the vehicle into reverse, it will sense and detect if there's anything coming or approaching towards the behind of your uh, lovely RAV4 hybrid, and it will beep to notify you. One more cool and neat feature from the XSE technology package to the XSE non-technology package. It's got the four smart key handle sensors front and back of this SUV. Um, with the other grades, you're just limited to the front two doors being a smart key access. Now, I don't remember seeing this little trim guard here on the 2023 RAV4 hybrids, but maybe Maybe I'm wrong. I don't recall seeing this on 2023 RAV4 Hybrid XSC. I'll have to try to find one and see, but maybe that's something new that's not marked or mentioned. Maybe not. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below. Moving right along. Now there's a lot of important and useful buttons over here on the left of the driver's seat. For example, this one here, which is the 360 degree view camera or monitor, I should say, which comes standard with the XSE technology package for 2024. And to answer everyone's question, a lot of viewers and customers ask, you know, what's the color of the roof liner with the SE, XSE, XSE technology package, 2023 and 2024 RAV4 hybrids. Well, with the 2024 RAV4 hybrid XSE technology package, you can see here it's a black roof liner with a power moon roof. The black roof liner definitely adds to that overall sporty and aggressive feel when you're inside the vehicle. Well, what does everyone think about the 24 RAV4 Hybrid XSE technology package. It's almost fully loaded at an MSRP Canadian of just over $46,100 plus your freight PDI fees and taxes. It's a couple hundred dollars less expensive than the 2024 limited grade RAV4 Hybrid, but you get pretty identical features uh, with regards to that. Uh, some stuff you get left out with on the XSE technology package, um, but you do have the option on the XSEs to go two-tone, so one body color and then black roof with the black accents and alloys. That really looks cool. Um, that's one of the most uh, crucial reasons why customers and viewers go for the XSE over the limited is because of the different sport appeal. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I didn't catch any unmarked changes on the actual physical vehicle inside and out. Did you? I don't think so, uh, but we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.